Hi, welcome to Solid Edge ST9 sheet metal video tutorial. I want to do this sheet metal bracket, which I did before in the other four programs, now in Solid Edge ST9. So, let's start. Before I start with a sketch, I can choose here. I'm in the sheet metal environment because I made a new sheet metal part. I can choose right here the material. Let's go for aluminium. And I want to have a sketch on the front plane. This should be something like this. Go for an arc. Maybe like that. Give it some dimensions. This should be 20. Distance should be now to this one. This should be 60. And that length should be 120. Okay. And that distance should be 50. Now give it some constraints or relations. So this point, let's go for that point should be right on that line. That point should be on that line as well. And that line, and this point should be aligned. Okay. Close the sketch. Now go for a contour flange. You can go in this direction or that direction. You can choose the thickness right here. Let's make two millimeter thickness to the side. And I want it to be symmetric. And the distance should be 30. Again, as in all the other programs, you only have to do the radius in the sketch, which is different from the standard bend radius. Okay. Now let's go for a tab. Go to tab, make a sketch on that plane. This should be a rectangle. Maybe like this. Then make the midpoint of this line coincident to the midpoint of that edge. Give it some dimensions. This should be 25. This should be 10. Close the sketch. And finish the tab. Cancel it out. Now go for a flange. This should be on that edge, in that direction. And this should be 70. And it's inside the material. And finish this one. Another one on this edge, in that direction. And this should be 20. and finish. Very nice. Now let's try to do that without the tab. So go for the flange again. That's the edge. I want to go in this direction, but 
I could center the flange. So make it centered and it should be in that direction it should be 10. Okay, it's centered and in that direction. Let's take a look and this should be 25. So let's go to the offset step step and you could go for offset in that direction which means I could go for 10 and could do it completely without the tab yeah and finish so what do I need now I need break corner camphor and make it let's say four millimeter on this edge, that edge, this one, that one, and down below on this, come on, this one, and that one. Confirm and finish it. And my model is done. Okay, if you want to change the default band radius, you could go, for example, one of these features and just edit the definition right here. And you could do this with every feature. And don't use the defaults and make it, for example, four millimeters. I will cancel this out. Let's hide the sketch, finish this and, oh yeah, sketch, I've already hidden the sketch. So how to get to a flat pattern? You have to go to the tools register, tools palette, and then activate flatten. And then you could do a flat pattern, see? Just select the face, which is the upward face. And then you could select an edge and define the origin. So maybe let's select this edge and that point. Zoom it a little bit in the edge and move over here. And then you got this point as origin. Select and you will get a flat pattern of your body. If you want to go back to your model, just switch here between flatten and ordered. In the case you need a flattened blank body, it's possible to do it. Go for flattened. You could do it with the ordered model as well, if there's not already a flat pattern. Choose one face for that blank body. You could change the accuracy, you could change the thickness and make a preview. And you got a blank flattened body if you need it. Okay, you could suppress this one and you see your flattened pattern again. So if you want to see more Solid HST 9 sheet metal videos, give it a like down below, leave a comment. Hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.